guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one Drew Diamond, coming at you guys with Thursday morning chat. Good morning, good morning. Um, yeah. I, you see how dreary it looks today? This rain is just, it's not raining, but it's just foggy. It looks dreary. And of course, I'm driving to work again. <laughs> Ooh, I'm telling y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. Mm. Sorry. I got to put my lips on. Um, my lips feel dry. But, um, we have some people on our job. My job have been working for over 13 oh mosquito god when i live mosquitoes are terrible <laughs> i hate mosquitoes okay and i fight with one every morning y'all notice that one thing because i stopped to the mailbox and that one got away by the way but i stopped to the mailbox and i um mail off that Victoria's Secret thing every morning. I kind of leave the door open. And I think a mosquito gets in when I do that. So, um, that's the first morning I've seen a state trooper. It's like, focus off, focus off, because I don't want a speeding ticket. And I was going 60. But these roads back here are 55, so technically... <laughs> yeah, right. I can go five miles over the speed limit. So I go 60 up here. If he wanted me, I think he would have squished back and got me. So I think he's like headed on the other way. Anyway, what was I talking about? Um, Mommy fingers, mommy fingers, where are you? <laughs> here I am, here I am. How do you do? That's one of Princess Jewel's songs. Oh, God, because that memory, that thought have gone. As soon as I started talking about something else, I know I was talking about mosquitoes opening up the door, mailing the letter, and that's how the mosquito gets in. But I was surely talking about something before that. But I don't know. So we will move on to the next great subject, okay, until that thought comes back. Any, oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> People been working on the job for this lady. I know 36 years to be exact. Okay, but and she don't want to retire. But I guess if you do sit home. But the thing about it is, is this. This is what gets me with it. Okay, I understand you don't want to sit home. I understand you love your job and you like coming in. You like doing what you do. But the longer you stay, the more of your retirement money they're cutting. You're losing a lot of your benefits. A lot of people have already got out and left the job. And we were wondering, why are all these high up leaders, these big wigs, you know, sit up in the big nice offices. They just all of a sudden started popping up in retirement. And that's because they knew this crappy retirement playing what they were going to do to the retirees. They took away a lot of their benefits. They took away a lot of our stuff as far as retiring. And then those who have been there forever in a day like the 30 plus years, a lot of them left because they saw that their benefits were going to be cut. And just like they used to pay for the insurance after you retire, your insurance was paid for. They cut that. And when you see that happening, or get a glimpse of that happening, as expensive as insurance and health care is, I would have glad I would have gladly bowed out. I would have retired at that point and at that moment because now when I look at the retirees, because they show us like it's time for us to do our benefits. That reminds me I gotta renew my benefits before the 13th. So I need to go ahead on and do that before I get penalized. Anyway, um I um when you look at it and you see the large amount of money that these people have to pay, if you've ever been out of work, lost a job, and they offer you COBRA insurance, it is higher 
than Cobra. I'm like, what? In the what, 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 what? It's just like paying Cobra, really. Um, all jokes aside, it's just like paying Cobra. And I'm like, oh my God. It is ridiculous what insurance is going to cost. So I'm going to stay until I'm 65 and I can get some Medicare. <laughs> So tell me, but this lady, this this one particular lady that I'm talking about, um, she's she's able to get her, she can get her Medicare, she can get it. I know she can. It ain't no doubt in my mind that this lady, it's not because she got children that's almost as old as me. I know she can get it. So um, anyway, maybe she can though. I don't know. They children ain't almost as old as me, but they old, older children. But anyway, I don't know, but it just seems like I wouldn't let my benefits go like that. I mean, you work so hard for them. Me personally, mm -mm. and you know how people say you get tired, you wouldn't know what to do. I probably would get bored after a while, but believe me, I'm going to enjoy myself for the first few months of retirement. And if I get bored, then hey, okay, that's why they got them little gray lady positions, because they can go out. They can socialize. They got these little meeting groups where people go to. You've seen them old people when you go in Hardee's and McDonald's in the morning and Bojangles sitting together drinking their little coffee with their biscuit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They got little senior citizens clubs. You can do stuff too. I'm looking forward to retirement. And yes, I know it feels strange that you get up every morning and you do the same thing and it has become a part of your life and that's all you know. But you make things for yourself. That's why I'm starting to think about, um, I'm trying to get my bearings straight where I'm at. I've been talking to y'all and I'll be in Kinston and need to be in Greenville. <laughs> okay, I see where I'm at now. Okay, I'm on track. It's foggy, I told y'all. It's foggy here, okay? <laughs> I got to look at my landmarks. But anyway, it's like, um, I want to be debt free of things by the time I get ready to retire. So I have like 15 years to work on debt free. Okay? So that's what I'm working on, not getting anything else extra, you know. Or if I do get a new car, I want a new car. If I do get a new car, then it's got to be paid off by retirement. That's what I'm looking at, okay? Because I'm like, uh-uh, I can't. I want to be able to do things. I want to be able to travel and go places I don't want to worry about. Because I always wonder, why would these people, these little old people go back to work and be at Walmart? You can go to Walmart and be a door greeter and talk to people if you want to talk. You know, it's like, I just wouldn't let them take my money and it bothers me. I'm like, you work hard for this so so hard don't let them take what you've already earned you know and it's not the fact that they don't what is that truck doing this morning it's not the fact that they don't know because they do know because one lady going to my she was like i'm looking into retirement she said because i'm not going to lose my money she said and i think you need to too i was so tickled on the inside of my well just break it to her gently why don't you <laughs> I'm like, just give it to her easy, okay? I'm like, but it is like, I don't know. But I think she'll be there forever and a day at the hospital. And I think she'll let all her benefits just dwindle down to nothing. And then I think she will retire and be bitter at the hospital because she don't have what she could have had. And she spent all her time there dedicated. No, you should have jumped ship like the rest of them did. They left, they got their retirement. I'm sure they're working other places. I'm sure they're not sitting down. Because some of them that left still had a lot of life left in them. She still got a lot of life left in her. So I would most definitely get married. And I know after when you retire, I know you um, can't work but so many hours that they will, especially if you're not aged out then they will say that you're not fully retired because you're working, but I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it just 
just gave me something to think about. I said, I got some goals I got to set. I got to stop spending so much. But anyway, as I'm talking about that, uh, my mind is on going to Rite Aid and Coupon and seeing if I can find that X toothpaste. And I just want it just because it's a good sale, a good deal, a money maker. That's why I want that toothpaste so bad. Don't use it. I've never used it, but I will try it when I get it. Whenever I get something new, I will say this. I will try it and see if I like it. Yeah. I most definitely will. I'm not that great about the mouthwash. I mean, which is fine. The mouthwash is fine. But the mouthwash is fine, but I, um, it's I issue grandma but um I'm a Listerine mouthwash and I don't really have a well I do I like that crisp pro health um for the 50 plus I love that toothpaste I don't know why I like it it just seems like my gum seems a bit stronger when I use it and maybe it's just in my mind because I see it say 50 plus I'm thinking it's doing something extra <sighs> not but I do like that one the best um, of the toothpaste but I'm not loyal to anything whatever my hand grabs and picks up off of the shelf and especially now whatever I can reach in my hands and get into a box and get yeah that's me and last night I went to go get some stuff because this the lady that is, is from where I moved from that always bought buy for me they had she had called me one of them did and she wanted me to get some stuff for her, and I went to the storage to try to get it I could not I got some stuff but I could not get or see all my stuff my daddy has that stuff packed in there so tight and it is it's gonna take her all day to move stuff around and I'm like oh my god I gotta get my Christmas stuff out of there <laughs> Christmas is coming up and I need to get that out because I'm not buying anything else. So I know I will probably Oh, got it. Got it. I got her. I got her. I got that mosquito. <laughs> I got that mosquito. Anyway, I'm going to get off here for now because I have been whining about not whining but just reflecting on I've been reflecting on retirement. I'm too young to retire, you guys. I'm just talking to be talking. And I will tell y'all this really quick. Weight loss this week has been, I have been doing terrible. They've been bringing candy and I've been eating it. I just, I just have not stayed on track. I don't know what it's going to do. I'm almost to the point of frustration to the 10th degree. So, I got to shake myself up and get myself back focused some kind of way because I am not focused whatsoever with this thing. I have talked. I have tried. I'm, ugh, but it's just frustrating. I'm at the point of being frustrated with it. And I looked at myself in the mirror this morning. I'm like, I got to do something because I can't take it any longer. So anyway, with that being said, don't forget to give God some praise. Give him some thanks for waking you up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you another chance to get it right. He sure did wake me up and give me another chance to get this fat journey right. So I will talk with you guys later in the next video. Bye.